Well, I have the amazing and fabulous Kelly Tucker with me, um, all the way from Nashville, but actually now resides in Las Vegas. Correct. Yes. Is that, did I, yes. I got it right. She got it right. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and awesome. you are a singer. Yes. And and are you singing in the Nashville way, or are you singing with your own tone? How are you it's singing? It's definitely my own style. I your mean, own style? Yeah. yeah. How wonderful. So, so what do you really kind of sing? What do you, you know, I'm going right into it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. No, so um, I play uh, six nights a week here, roughly, sometimes more, uh, here in Las Vegas. You play six nights a week. I'm going to really, really broadcast that because <laughs> a lot of the people in the music industry do not play one night a week, never yeah. mind six. Yeah, it's, and five hours a night. And five hours a night. Mm -hmm. Where are you performing? So uh, Monday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm at uh, Green Valley Ranch Casino at their steakhouse called Hank's. And I, I've been there for four years, and I love it. They're like family I know, to me. I know the steakhouse. Yes, I know it you've there. got it from seeing me. So now I've got to come up and see you. Yeah, I would love that. Oh, absolutely. And then tonight, Tuesday, uh, I'm at um, Sam's Town Casino at Roxy's Lounge. The famous Roxy's. Roxy's the same. And how it's, long have you been there? I've been there for um, just about a year. And uh, let's see. I'll be playing at the M starting next month. No, oh, how fabulous. Yeah. Just right across the street from me. Oh, that's I great. In, I live in Southern Highlands, so I'm right there. You right go. There. Oh, I'd love so to have you. So, what room are you going to the. I'll be at the M bar. At oh, the bar, the yes, M bar. Yes, the M bar. Um, are you going to have. Do you play the piano as well? I don't. I sing you the don't. tracks. You sing tracks? Yes. Oh, so, you, you have a whole set up? Yes. I've band in a box, baby. You're not, it's you're easy. Not, to me, you know, I always thought of think of the music as, you know, you've got the singers and you've got the band and you've got the, the drummer and you've got this and you've got that. Yeah. And then now we kind of have your own thing your yeah. own equipment that plays all these incredible instruments and are you able to tune them in as how they're supposed to all be so yeah i mean it's it's technology's amazing um, it's, a, it's amazing so there's uh, there's very little dialing in sometimes you pick a song that's it's got you know it's the tracks are perfect uh, the levels might be different so you're kind of adjusting Put that your as level, you go. the level you sing in yes um but it makes it really simple uh for someone that prefers not to do weekly shows or nightly shows I should say with a band it makes life a lot simpler and um, I'm, I mean I'm just way more um, you're independent yeah I'm independent I don't have to rely on so many people yeah and, and it's probably very good because a lot of the people apparently in Vegas um, you book them and they don't all turn up correct sometimes and so sometimes <laughs> they're drunk and sometimes, sometimes they have attitudes drunk. and sometimes they don't know the material and they're late and, well, I'm know. glad she's saying it I'm not <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm calling you guys out yeah um, but yeah so I, I've done the band thing for a long time and I have a band um, if it calls for for a corporate gig so or two Oh, so you have, you so. have, this is what you call, she has it all together. You I have, try. You're prepared for anything. <laughs> I try now, to be, your yes. your background, what is your background? I know you're from Nashville, but um, you've sung, I know the Opera House in Nashville, right? The, um, uh, no. <laughs> well, there's the Ryman and there's um, Op Opry. The Grand Old Opera. The Grand Old Opera <laughs> it's House. Been so long. Yeah. It's the Grand yeah. Old Opera House. There. <laughs> yeah. So Nashville is like a place where all the, you know a lot of the really incredible music comes from. Yeah. Which are, is the the lyrics they have are so amazing because mm -hmm. their lyrics sort of relate to their lifestyle. It's rather like rapping. Yes, it's very poetic. Very it's poetic, amazing to yes. be able to tell a story, have it all rhyme, and then sound amazing at the same time. It's a lot. It's there's a lot that Johnny goes into Cash, it. Johnny Cash. I mean, come yeah, on. You know, exactly. You've got a lot of amazing stars coming out of yes. there. So. Do you sing any of these songs? What do you what what is what do you sing? So I mean, people always assume that I do country music, which of course I do. I love country music. That was what I was raised on. But yes. I also have this um, a That's passion why I for. That's the question it. up because yes. I'm sure this is what you started. Yeah, with. Yeah, but you know, uh, there's so many other musics that I love and appreciate. So of course I try to incorporate all that into my show, like Adele, Stevie Nicks, um, Journey. I'll do Rihanna. I'll do Billie Eilish, Lana Del Rey. I mean, you could just name it, and I pretty you, much do you it. And you do all of them. I do all of them, and. You know, I, I love getting requests from the audience and, you know, just kind of trying out new songs. And did you do this in Nashville as well? I didn't. Um, I, honestly, in Nashville, at the time I was there, um, there wasn't a lot of opportunity to play and make music. It was more, you know, it wasn't there wasn't a lot of money in it. No. So I didn't do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> typical woman, you but know. I, but I Where was, is the money? <laughs> well, and that's, but you have to put a value on your talent yourself and your work. And so that's, well, that you, was always you know, very important. I admire you for that, to do that in Vegas. You put a value on yourself, you get, you do work and you actually get paid. Yes, ma'am. Because a lot of people in, in this town don't. Yes. And unfortunately they've, they've made this platform where if they want to be seen. Mm -hmm. So they think if they're seen and people see what they do and they do it for free, everybody else wants them for free. 
it doesn't it's it's not a good cycle it's not a good cycle. No, because you never get paid. No, and then uh, a lot of times the venues will, will think that they can get you for, for, for free or nothing. Yeah, and it's, yeah. you know, it's people really, I, I encourage all the artists and musicians out there to make sure that you put a, a high price that you think you are valued you're at, yeah. that you're worth, exactly, because yes. your, your talent, I, I mean, listen, I can't play the guitar, I cannot play the piano, so I value the people that can, like, I think it's amazing. Absolutely. So they should be paid Yes, but you Accordingly. Say, can you do a little song for me? A little oh my gosh, pitch? I didn't even warm up. Lord. Uh, oh, I'm just going to warm up. La, 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 la. Is that how you warm up? Close. <laughs> very close. I need about two shots of espresso and two a red Two shots bowl. of... <laughs> <laughs> Stat. <laughs> my previous guest actually had a, had a, I don't know, a vodka mix or something. It ended up on the floor. Then he picked the glass up and broke the glass. It was the funniest thing. It was pretty thing. entertaining, was I'm not going to lie. What can I knock over? This yeah, mic? Yeah, I don't this, know. This, no, no, you can't. No. Actually, that's my microphone. I've, I've taken everything off. <laughs> <laughs> so no one knocks anything over anymore. Nope. I just, yeah. But so, so, you, so you found Vegas very good for you. Yeah, so I was on season six of The Voice. And oh, I was really? on Team Blake and I, you know. Season six for The Voice? Yeah, that was a really and fun. How, how did that experience. go? Is it? Did you... How many did you come on? How many times for the voice? So actually, it was on a whim. I lived in Nashville. My mom called me and said you should go out to Vegas, which was where they were having the uh, open call open, audition. Yeah. So I, I came with my friend and I auditioned and I kept making it through the rounds and next round, next round, and so, quite oh, a few. Really? <laughs> so you got you got quite high up there. Yeah. So I made it to um, I guess the top forty eight of the uh, on TV That's and cool. Team Blake and. He was a great coach and it was a fun experience and I met some of my best friends in the entire world there and it's it was a platform for me to actually come out to Vegas. And have and any of these people say, helped you since? Have any of them sort of backed you or helped you? Unfortunately, it doesn't really work like that. Oh. Um, it's not like what you think. It is a television show. Remember that. Um, yes. And it's um, it's for ratings and things like that. So, But it's really, um, no one cares more about your career than you. Yeah. So you have to take uh, everything that, that they give you, which is a huge platform. And, I love and what social you just media. said. She said nobody cares about what you do, but what, but yourself. Nobody cares more about your career than you. Than you, yeah. Nobody, and that's true, one hundred percent. Yeah. True. And I'm always telling people, get yourself into you, get yourself set up with you, because you're the only person yeah. that's going to bring it out there. Yeah. You can't expect somebody to knock on your door. You just have to go no, out there. No, you can't. No, they're not going to say, "Oh, I know who you are. I'm, I know where yeah. she lives. I'm going to." I'm gonna, no, and let can't. me tell you, it was a, it was a, it was a, like the old time story where you know you pack up your car with just everything you could possibly fit in there, drive out to Vegas on a whim and hope that it works out, and it and it did for and me. And it did for you. So I'm very blessed. But, but so you came out here because of the voice. Yeah, um, my battle partner, uh, who I'd actually love for you to interview as well, Mr. Okay. Ryan White Maloney, he was my battle partner on The Voice. He and I became best friends. He lived here in Vegas for nine years prior to me coming, mm -hmm. and he encouraged me to come out here and just take a stab at it because he had been very successful out here playing shows and, and making a living doing what he loves. Wow. So he encouraged me and inspired me, and I, I owe him a lot of credit because he's just an amazing human being, a really talented artist we and musician. We will definitely have him on the I, show. You have to. He's yeah, a, we'll a definitely. Must. I'll get Lynn, but my uh, talent director. There's two. I have to tell you about two other people that, that came here after The Voice that were on my season. Megan Ruger, who was my uh, roommate, yeah. and Dendal um, was another contestant. He She was on, I believe, Adam's team. Yeah. So anyways, there's a lot of great people so, that moved out here yeah. after The Voice. So is it because, you know, they have The Voice coming out? They have a lot no. of different talent things coming out. It was opportunity. Was Vegas say, creates just, opportunity. See, period. It can either be your like your to your detriment and you can call it Sin City or it could be your yellow brick road and that's what I yes. always say. So it's your yellow brick road. It's my it? yellow brick road. Yes, yeah. it's certainly not. Whereas a lot of people I think they give up, you know. And they, yeah. they, it, it's tough. It is tough, but then you can't give up on yourself because that's what you're really doing when you give up. Aren't mm -hmm. you? You're giving up on yourself like I don't really have the talent. Whereas they do. I've listened to many of them. That's why this is why I have this show. Mm -hmm. Vegas Live with Neon is a it's a show. It's not about me. It's not about anybody. It's about all the entertainment and the music people in Vegas and also around the world. That and come it's on. lovely that you're doing that. Then really. we give them a place, like I'm giving you a place. Mm -hmm. I'm giving her a place. Those, but she's already known. But this also opens up other doors because people will see you because we're on the internet. Yeah, of course. So they'll see you all over the world and everything. And that's why I wanted you to sing. But she has to warm up. Not everybody can sing. Come do a show. Show. Check out some of my YouTube videos. Yeah, uh, YouTube videos. Uh, 
And then where can they find you on YouTube? So please go to my website, CallieTucker.com. That's C-A-L-I-T-U-C-K-E-R. Also, Instagram is Callie Tucker Music, Callie Tucker on Facebook. Callie Tucker. Callie, Callie Tucker. Callie, 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 There's a lot of it. Tucker, 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 yeah. Callie Tucker, Callie Tucker. My EP <laughs> is getting released this year, which I'm very oh, excited really? about. And I recorded with um, Grammy-nominated producer PK, Gahara P.K. Degadenzi. And uh, we're really excited to go on tour this year and, and see what, so, what happens. So do you see yourself on the big stage? Do you see yourself oh. out there? I do, because yeah. I, I, I don't know her voice at all, because I never pre-interview anybody. <laughs> But just your look and your personality. I, I, I don't know, I could just see you up Thanks, there on stage girl. doing it. Yeah, Aww. I could just see you on stage doing that. And, and I have a know. blast, let me tell you. Even with my small venues that I play here, I absolutely love it. I love that intimate setting. I've played in front of 20,000 people before, and that's another different kind of rush. Well, I was going to say, that's a different story. <laughs> that's another place. Yeah. But you know, in Vegas, and what you're talking about, they always used to have, we call them the lounge shows. Yeah. And so you're kind of bringing I'm back. I'm bringing it back, totally. <laughs> Kelly Why do you think funny. I wear like dresses and I know, look at all furs stuff. Look and stuff? She's got all her stuff on. I love the glamour, then I yeah. we don't have that anymore, and I really, I really want to bring you're the glamour. At my, you're at my alley. You really, I absolutely. <laughs> I saw love you, this. and I was like, yes, those I, earrings. <laughs> <laughs> we are cut from the same cloth, my dear. Yeah, I like. Um, you know, a lot of people look at me and they say, you know, you're always dressed, Nina. You know, but I am always dressed. Well, I hope I'm always dressed. <laughs> don't want to see this body anymore. But anyway, but I'm always dressed up because I, that's just me. It's fun. And yeah. like you, you're dressed up for the show. I love it. I love when women present themselves like this. Rather Don't than see me at 8 a.m. in the morning, but, you know. Oh, don't <laughs> see me at 7 in the morning. Because <laughs> I'm, like, peeping out of the blankets. Like, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, man. It's not it, enough it's so lovely to see a woman dressed up. Because, you know, women look so beautiful when they're dressed up. And sort of, I, I'm so tired of flip-flops and shorts. And, it's and another... men's legs. Men's legs are even worse. God, I mean, you know, men have these shorts on, and you, and they've got these white socks and these tennis shoes. I think I, I always think. find it funny with the tan when they're wearing shorts. Like this is all tan, and then the sh the legs are really white. Pale. <laughs> we still love you guys. Yeah, we do. Okay. We love you. We, love you. we absolutely love you. Well, you know, you're just amazing, and thank, thank you, you for Callie, having for coming me on the show. Um, it's my pleasure. How long have you been here in Vegas? Five years. Five years now, yes, ma'am. So you can see her around town. Look out for Callie Tucker. Absolutely amazing, and the way you're dressed and how she thank is. Thank you. She's what I call she's a happy soul. Ow. I think so. <laughs> I try to be. Don't forget to um, don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe Vegas Live with Nina and sort of boost us up and do what we need to do because we're climbing and climbing and climbing and we're doing absolutely amazing. And when I have people like Kelly Tucker on, oh, it just helps all of us. We'll be right back. Black velvet, ew. And then I remember Blake turning around and I was just. Blake added country legacy Callie Tucker to his team. Are you any relation to, T to Tanya? She's my aunt. Tanya Tucker's your aunt? Mm -hmm. She saw something special.
If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nino on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.